everyone, welcome back to another video on the water here today. Right after the b-roll I just filmed, I actually ended up swinging a beautiful little steelhead and uh, I didn't have any of the filming stuff out, no cameras going, no nothing. Awesome way to start the morning, but we have a lot more fishing to do, so I'll see you in the next run. Heck yeah, man. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. Set on that run, I was practically a quarter of a mile away. I see this beautiful fish jumping. Look at that fucking gagger. Oh my god, dude. She is gorgeous. How's that, dude? <laughs> she way the f out there, dude. Way out there, just stink. And then, uh. I set up the six weight and I started way up at the top of I'd the bend. I looked back up just before I made that cast and I saw you standing way the. F I happened to just look down and I was like, "What the? Is God he on?" <laughs> I see this rocket ship take off, <laughs> dude. That nice. Cool. That was very cool. So was that? mid swing or like kind of out when it touched down right out here as soon as it tightened up and started coming across hard because it starts out a little soft as you saw it was snagging up like crazy in that shallow bump and i want i like to fish the back side of that bump but i couldn't get a good swing through there it was starting to drive me crazy so i took a few steps out and... <laughs> <laughs> what a glorious morning yeah no first spot she was pretty bright. Yeah, she was bright. And it ate like two and a half inch, you know, white dirty hoe. These fish love hoes, man. They do. Put another one on the six weight. Smaller oh, one. Yeah. Kick out. <laughs> like a two and a half inch one. Yeah, kick out. I was going to say the six weight, the nine weight all have to be laced up. I was like on my third cast, as far as I could be away from you, and I see that thing launch into space. <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that how it goes? I looked up and I thought, I go, oh, you must be tying on or eating some food or something. And then I looked back and you're, you're standing up there, you know, and I'm like, okay, so he's back in. And then literally Boom. next swing, wow. <laughs> I was so far, I couldn't actually even see your rod or like what you were doing. I just saw this big chrome fish jump and I was like, he must be on. That fish surely didn't just jump. <laughs> Something's got to be yeah. happening here. Let sleeves, first spot. <laughs> Where's your tip it out, Toby? Oh, right here. It's a mega. I don't want to use it now. I think if we tried and were extra wasteful, it would take probably three years to finish. <laughs> yeah. We just had some coffee and walked down that run with Jerry. We're chatting for a little bit now. We just walked back up to the head and uh, I'm gonna fish through this before we move on to the next spot. Been an uh, amazing day so far. It's steelheading at its finest. You just come with zero expectations. Great day on the water, just have some fun. And then you catch two steelhead in the first run of the day. So ever since joining the Aquaflies team, I've been spending a lot of time with Jerry and getting to fish a lot and it's been a lot of fun. I swear to God, I've become a three times better angler in the 
times that I've been out with him. I want you to comment down below and let me know if you'd be excited if we did a series of videos with Jerry, specifically tips and tricks on casting and fly tying. Just want to gauge some of the interest and see if it'd be worth doing something like that. What do you guys think? <laughs> well, someone should start up high. Someone should. Yeah, someone should start up high. I think I'm gonna f around with the nine way this time. Yeah, dude. This time around. That's got that steel head sculpt on there. this guy that was the hoe that i oh it with the uh, right well i have a hard time fishing anything unless it's a dirty hoe i mean well, it's I... hard to it's hard to justify putting anything on that doesn't swim as well and doesn't cast as well yeah <laughs> that's a really good point <laughs> what was it called a pork rind oh a pork rind you know the pork rind you i don't know the know fly that? i know the snack okay <laughs> the pork rind <laughs> is literally a leader with a hook on the end and then you tie a stopper knot and you slide a piece of rabbit strip down on the leader with a hole poked through it and then put a little tiny huck of bunny on the hook so you've got rabbit strip rabbit strip and a little tiny different color dangly thing on the back and when Ed was doing a lot of his wee rod designing, that's all he fished because he could cast it on everything and right. he could fish it that big if he wanted. And that, the Skagit Master fish, mm -hmm. that was all pork rind time. Oh, that's so funny, dude. The, 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 he wasn't tying flies. When I saw him in January, I, used to, I go, are you tying flies yet? He laughs. He's one of the best fly tires on the planet and you fish goddamn pork rind pork rinds. yeah and that's why we called it that because it was just like a bass rig yeah <laughs> and i watched that dude ed caught a goddamn catfish in the midwest on that fly <laughs> yeah caught a catfish caught a sturgeon what the yeah dude i was like you kidding me everything ate it and it was like okay be ed with a bag of rabbit and cork for poking holes in it and lay some shit together. Last spot of the day. Back to the back to the skinny hoe. It's kind of a cool color scheme I've been using lately. Looks like essentially nothing right now, but it's white, orange, and then natural. Every time I'm fishing and I see you walking over to one of these things, I'm like, what is he doing in there? Yeah. 